Okay, so the first card that you've got is the Empress, and this is about abundance coming to you. So you are working very, very hard uh, to achieve your uh, financial uh, goals, because this is a card that is ruled by Taurus. Um, it's ruled by Venus, and Venus rules Taurus, rather. Um, and uh, you've also got that uh, Libra as well. Uh, so this is talking about, uh, you know, getting that balance, but also achieving, um, you know, financial success as well. You've got that tree of life over here. So you are, uh, you know, also achieving spiritual goals as well. And abundance is coming to you. You've got that baby over there. So this is new, something new beginning as well. And you're investing a lot of time and effort into it. Uh, and she's standing up by herself. So you are in charge. You're taking leadership or, um, of your situation as well and working pretty hard. The card is ruled by Venus, so, you know, people do see you as somebody that is getting that success and achieving it as well. You've got the world card over here, so this is about being focused on work. You've got the Saturn over there uh, sitting in Capricorn, uh, so, you know, you are very, very focused on your work as well. Uh, there might be also some travel that you're doing as well, so, you know, you are focusing on getting that and you are achieving uh, that particular um uh, you know, a goal as well as far as your work goes. So whatever you're investing as far as your time and effort into your work is paying off for you. Now you've got the Prince of Swords over here. This might be some kind of message coming in for you uh, on legal, um, you know, something to do with legalities or official news coming in. You've got Mercury in Gemini over here, and that's usually about uh, news. And with the Swords cards, it's usually uh, dealing with something official or something legal, and maybe you're waiting for that to come in as well. This could also be, you know, communication, or it could even be signing contracts as well. So if you're signing any contracts, make, make sure you're reading all the fine print. Be very, very specific about that. Now, um, you've got the moon in the past, so this is dealing with a lot of depression, a lot of uh, problems. Uh, you know, you might have been a bit confused about what you wanted to do. Um, you've got this uh, Neptune sitting here in Pisces, and you've got that moon card over there. So... Uh, the moon over there so and it's a full moon and a um, full moon is usually about being confused uh, hidden enemies people you know you're dealing with are not quite what they seem to be or making promises to you um, that don't pan out so you've been going through that phase of confusion um, and you've got the hermit now so you're getting your focus back again so this is a, a stark contrast this is about Pisces energy uh, that you've been dealing with but then you've got that hermit, which is about Virgo energy. Um, and this is about taking control of that situation, being focused, learning about your strengths and your weaknesses, you know, getting your mind in order. So where you went through a phase of confusion, you are now getting that mind sorted out. You've got that Mercury in Virgo. So Mercury ruling the mind. And with Virgo, it's being very, very practical, very, very um, goal orientated and doing a lot of research and a lot of study and finding out the answers to things. So where you went through a phase about, you know, where maybe you felt like you had no control, had lost control because of everything that was going on, you were overthinking situations, it seems like now you're getting yourself back on track again and you're being very, very organized and very, very focused. And you are focusing on that money uh, and you are focusing on that job. And it looks like, you know, you're getting that rewards. Those returns are coming in for you. Now, you've got going into the future, the judgment card over there. And this is Pluto. Pluto puts an end to difficult things. The judgment card is the end to past situations. And it's usually a victory. It's a rebirth. Um, so you are moving forward. Uh, and you're ending things that are no longer serving you, ending situations. You can see these people moving away, ascending from it. So you are rising above the situation. You are overcoming uh, things. And you're taking that power back in your hand. This man has got that um, wand in his hand over here. So a lot of power is coming into your hand again. You've got the Princess of Wands over here. So this is about, again, power coming back into your hand again. You can see she's also got the wand in her hand. And, you know, things are... Uh, moving forward there might be a lot of communication that is going on over here but it looks like you know you're you're finally taking control of that situation you've got uh, cancer uh, leo here and virgo so those three uh, symbols there showing you showing that you are moving into the month of um, you know the the summer months of your life so whatever you're taking control of and it's got the summer card oh, it's got the timing of summer by the time summer comes in you know you will have taken control of that situation this is more like a timing card so it looks like you you know, whatever that transformation is, by the time the summer comes in, it looks like, you know, you are well on your way to success as well. So you're leaving them behind the past, leaving back things. Maybe you're following a new path as well. By the time the summer comes in, your power will be well established and it will be back in your hands again and you would have sorted out this particular situation. So those are the energies for that week. 
So I'm going to be using the um, tarot, sorry, tarot of the spirit world. I have shuffled this deck. Let's see what's going on. The bottom of the deck, you've got the Seven of Cups over here. It looks like there's some kind of offer coming in. Somebody's going to be making some kind of, um, you know, really good offer to you. You can have a lot, of, a lot of options. You're leaving the Five of Cups behind. So you're leaving behind uh, a situation that was very, very emotionally depleting for you or some, uh, you know, a, a disappointment where you had a lot of crying and a lot of tears. You're leaving that behind because this new offer comes in. And it looks like it's being divinely guided. You've got this angel in the background over here that's guiding the whole situation. And the angel's also got a cup in their hand. So there looks like there's two offers coming in over here. Um, you know, one might be divinely guided, um, and the other one is definitely very practical. Uh, that's coming your way as well. So you are moving out of a situation. You've got that Five of Cups lying on the floor over there, and the Five of Cups is usually about disappointment and regret. You're leaving all that behind, and you are moving forward now. Now, what's happening with you? You've got this King of Cups over here, and you've got it crossed by the Four of Swords. Now, both these cards are about, uh, you know, getting over illnesses and getting over a physical uh, you know, stress-related illnesses, really. So you might be seeking some kind of medical um, advice or you, a medical intervention. The King of Cups is about, de you know, going to physicians, going to doctors, uh, seeking that medical advice. And with this uh, Four of Swords, it's about being ill. You can see this man's in his um, sick bed over here. And this is getting over illnesses, recovering from any kind of problems. Uh, and with the swords, it's about that stress-related illnesses as well. So you could be seeking some kind of medical advice, or you might be recovering even from surgery uh, with the swords over here. Uh, but you're definitely seeking some kind of medical advice uh, to get over um, you know, illnesses that you have been dealing with. Um, in the past, you've got the lovers over here. So there was some kind of choice that had to be made. Uh, and uh, you were faced with that uh, a very, very difficult choice. Um, you could have been even a relationship that you had to deal with as well, but there was a decision that you had to make in the past. And you've got that four of batons over here, and that's the four of wands, and that is overcoming any kind of difficulties. Um, so in the past, you are now starting to recover from your problems, and you're starting to um, get your strength back. Um, and get your power back into your hands again, and stability is coming into your hands again. Um, you know, the, the four of wands is about victory in a difficult situation. It's, you know, resurrection. You can see this is rising above any kind of difficult situation. So whatever's held you back is now moving away from you, and you are now able to overcome it. You might be getting some kind of help and assistance and advice as well from somebody around you. Whatever it is, it had you completely, you know, uh, down. So this could have been, you know, even a medical illness that you had that had you completely, uh, you know, um, had, had taken its toll on you. And maybe you were bedridden for a while as well because this man is in bed and he's almost fighting this demon over here. So there was something that had you down and something that held you down. Uh, but it looks like, you know, there was, there has been somebody that's been around you that has come in to come and give you some kind of assistance. And you are now going and seeking that, uh, this advice. Maybe, you know, um, it's had so much an effect on you uh, that, you know, it had you bedridden for a while. So you are now starting to recover from that. So you've got the Nine of Cups, you are thinking, sorry, the Nine of Pentacles, you are thinking a lot about your finances and how to achieve uh, your financial uh, goals as well. So this is being playing on your mind. You want your financial independence. Um, you know, maybe you're worried about how you are going to be sorting out bills, sorting out all your financial problems, uh, because the Nine of Pentacles is about trying to pay off debts, trying to sort it things out and trying to get that money so that, you know, you're not going through a period of lack. So this is on your mind. You're really worried about money as well as, you know, how you're going to sort out your in um, your finances out, how you're going to get things uh, paid off. So going into the future, you've got the Ace of Cups over here. So something brand new coming in for you over here. There's a new offer. And this is also a card of healing. So it looks like whatever problems you've been going or facing as far as your health goes, it looks like healing is coming in for you with this Ace of Cups over here. Um, this is also, you know, maybe a new offer that comes in as well. So this could be a financial offer as far as a job goes. Um, it could be even a form of new of study as well with this Ace of Cups. Uh, but this is also a card of healing, so getting over whatever difficulties you went through. 
And then you've got the Ten of Cups over here. So this is the end of a very, very difficult cycle. And now you're going to be able to make some kind of choice and decision how to move forward. Uh, this is uh, almost a spiritual healer over here, the Shaman. So it looks like whatever uh, problems you've been having as far as health goes, that is going to be sorted out. You're getting that healing and it is being uh, almost divinely guided for you. Um, and also there's somebody that is coming in to help you as well. And this is the end of that difficult cycle that you went through. So you are recovering from whatever problems you went through and stability is coming in for you. If this is, you know, if the Ten of Cups is also dealing with family situations, but, it, you know, that in itself will resolve. Uh, whatever problems you're dealing with will resolve itself. It's the end of that cycle. You've got the Emperor card over here. So this is talking about, uh, you know, legal decisions being made. Maybe you're waiting for some kind of legal decision or there's a legal decision pending as well because you have been dealing with a lot of legal problems as well. But that Four of Swords is also dealing with legalities. And it looks like with the Emperor card over here, it's also taking control of that situation, sorting your finances out, being practical, uh, taking back your authority again. This also could be that you're dealing with somebody who is a very, um, you know, very harsh person, somebody that um, bullied you a lot and you had to deal with this kind of energy around you. The person seems to still be there, but it looks like, you know, they're back, they're down on their knees. So you're getting, uh, you know, you are sorting them out. Uh, with this Ten of Cups, it's moving away from that kind of energy. So you are not no longer being um, controlled by this person. They might still be around you, but you are not um, being controlled by them anymore. So um, in your hopes and fears, you've got the moon. So you're still going through a, a period of that cycle is coming to an end. You're hoping uh, all this difficulties end, but you're also going through a period of feeling very lonely, a bit confused, a bit depressed. Uh, those kinds of energies are still going through and you're still worried. This is also overthinking that situation. You're also worried about hidden enemies, people lying to you. So going into the future, you've got uh, the Tower card, um, the Six of Swords, and the Knave of Pentacles. So whatever the Tower card is that led you know, you can see there was a lot of drama or, you know, whatever's happened over here. There was a lot of destruction. This person's lost his head. So whatever's been happening is affecting you. Maybe you're thinking about it. You're very anxious. You're very stressed out. You can't seem to think straight. There's been so much of drama. But now you've got that Six of Swords uh, following that. So it means that whatever this tower issue that's going on right now that's been causing you all these stress problems, illnesses that has put your, turned your world upside down, uh, you will start moving away from it. And you are being divinely guided as well. It looks like these burdens are being uh, lifted from you as well. So you're moving out of the away from the clouds and into the sun so you will move away from whatever problems you have been going through as well so recovery from illness recovery from any kind of difficulties whatever this drama has been this tower moment uh, where there's been so much of loss and so much of destruction you will move away from it uh, you will be rescued almost from it and then you've got the knave of pentacles. So some kind of news coming in about finances as well. So it looks like there might be an offer for a job or something that allows you to move forward in a financial way. It brings light back into the situation again. So you are moving away from that drama. You will move away from it with that six of swords, with that ship going away. And it looks like that new offer of money is coming in. So new money coming in, maybe in the form of a new job, even in the form of study. But something that allows you to be, start becoming financially independent. So you are worried a lot about that money uh, and uh, being able to sort out your bills or whatever it is that you have to pay off uh, but it looks like there's a brand new offer that is coming in it's coming in in the form of the um the ace of cups as well as this uh, knave of pentacles who brings the news in and allows you to use you know to apply your skills uh, and you can see, you know, it's going to make you something, uh, make you pretty happy uh, with this ace of cups. It's going to be something that's very healing as well. So you are getting over a difficult, difficult situation here. Uh, you can see there is that offer as well with that seven of cups. So there are two offers coming in, uh, or, or there is a definitely an offer coming in for you. And uh, it looks like it's going to bring in a new job or new money that is going to be coming in. There might be even be a payout. There could be a legal payout because you've got the emperor card sitting over there. Uh, you know, emperor always talks about, um, you know, even judgments because this is a card ruled by Archangel Michael. So this could be a legal um, resolution to some particular case that you're dealing with and it allows to allows finances to come in. So I'm going to just draw some cards from the um, Animal Tarot. 
So this is pretty good. It looks like the six of winter. This is just the same as that six of swords there. So these are two in the same card, in the same reading. So this is the oracle read, which is reflecting the uh, maiden tarot read. And it's saying ch the challenging times are coming to an end and you can now breathe a sigh of relief. Let the past go and embrace happier times and um, ahead. You can see in the background over here, you've got a new moon there as well as the cage door being open. So whatever situation had bound you, had kept you tied up, uh, had restricted you, are now moving away from it. You are sailing away from it into something better. And you are sailing towards that Empress card, so you are sailing towards abundance. A time to hop into action, use your natural creativity to bring forth prosperity and success in your life. So it looks like this cat is sailing towards this Empress card. So you are sailing towards prosperity, abundance, uh, you know, good health. Uh, all of that is coming your way. So you are now, all that has all that had that had left you very tied up in the situation, you are now moving forward into something abundant. And you're moving forward into growth. And you've got the nine of winter, which says your fears and worries aren't real. Uh, they, are fa they are fueled by focusing on the negative, which gives power to that which you are afraid of. Stop worrying, let go of your fear, and everything will be okay. So although you're feeling very lonely, and you've got that full moon over there, where you're feeling very confused or depressed or unhappy, with the six of winter as well as the empress card, and you can see that six of winter sailing towards the empress card, which means that you are sailing towards your abundance. You are sailing towards a better life. You should stop feeling so alone. Don't overthink the situation and stop worrying about it. Help is on its way. In all these cards, you can see there's always two people there. So help is coming in for you here. The offers are going to be coming in and help is going to be coming in. And, um, you know, you are going to be uh, becoming more abundant. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.